like we're not staying here properly. Good morning guys and welcome to a crazy Sunday morning here in Bangkok. So apparently these guys with the little red symbols in Thailand, they're the meter taxis and they're the ones you want. No. You don't know that one. Yeah. Crazy. To go to the Sunday market. <laughs> Sunday markets. Okay. And then make it talk? You know? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Big say, the, say the market name, like the child. One. Like that. The big Sunday market? No, that doesn't make sense. Okay. We're currently on our way to these very popular Sunday markets, but it doesn't seem like anyone in Thailand actually knows of them. But that's what the internet said. They're very popular, so we're heading there now. We're back with Laura hey. and Hanbei. Thank you, bye. I think we'll skip the tuk tucks this time around. to the Chaka Chak markets which we did come to last time we were in Thailand. I think this is one of the only places we will revisit during our time here. Mostly because it's midday, we haven't had breakfast and we're hungry. Alright, we found some local markets to get some local cuisine. Let's see if we can find anything vegetarian and good. Hello, can I get um, six? Thank you. Alrighty, we've left the outer layer because it is such a hot day here in Bangkok. I'm like sweating and I'm not a sweater. We come into the inner markets, be mostly because it's shaded and also there's some fans in here. There is just hundreds and hundreds of markets. We're like currently lost in a maze. We are all marketed out. We've walked around for a couple of hours, so we've decided to come for some food. And we found like a little vegan place. It is called May Veggie Home. Hopefully we can find some good food in here. Some good like local vegan food. Back into the Thai food. Be we proud of us. <laughs> He's trying to be fancy in his chopsticks. How delicious is it though? It's so good. This is like the best Thai food I've ever had. This is so good. <laughs> they do black sesame ice cream. What? But we're actually going to go and grab a vegan brownie. Look at Stephen with his little goodie bag. He's way too happy about that. I just hailed my first taxi. <laughs> Then we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon down at Laura and Tam Bay's pool. They have such an awesome pool at their Airbnb. Look at this epic sunset, by the way. And how cool is their pool area? Look at that. All right, you guys, tomorrow we head to Myanmar, which means we can't actually bring the drone over there. So we've come to Laura and Tam Bay's house so we can actually leave it with them so we can pick it up, which is super nice of them. I just wish I could take my baby with me. Do you wish to leave this okay. That's all right. Look after our baby for us. Of course. Okay. Bye. <laughs> We're back again. See you guys. Bye. Look after our drone for us. We we'll see you guys in a week. Bye. Bye. Alrighty guys, today's the big day that we finally fly out to Myanmar. Now we've read online that it's actually illegal to bring drones into Myanmar, so we're not risking it. So we've left it here in Bangkok. We're gonna miss out on seven days of drones in Myanmar, but it means we get drones for the entire trip of Southeast Asia. It is now time to head to the airport. See you Bangkok! All right, we just tried to order our Uber and it's like 20 minutes away, which then is 45 minutes on top, which means we're gonna miss our flight. So I've just headed into an ATM and we're gonna go and catch a taxi. Fingers crossed they don't rip us off this time, but if we don't do this option, we're gonna miss our flight. I cannot believe we actually made it. We did not think we were gonna make it. We literally have like 10 minutes until the check-in gates close. Ah! Always, guys. Always time for a coffee. And some croissants. I can't believe we actually made this flight. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, see you Bangkok. Next stop, Myanmar.
welcome to Mandalay, Myanmar everyone. It was a beautiful flight in. It was just so dead. There were so many beautiful mountains and temples. I am so excited to explore this country. local market to get some local fresh ingredients for dinner tonight and the markets are literally just just down the road so you can get everything from chickens to fish to your veggies pound what, rice flowers yeah and then they put like a little bit of water uh -huh. and then they put some beans and tomato and a pork, pork. Mm, that's a pork okay so if you're a vegetarian so without pork yeah We've officially found the cheapest meal in the world. We were just walking past and just having a look around and there were these like local pancakes made out of rice. This is a just here, so it's a local Burmese pancake. It's a hundred jet for a vegetarian one. If you put that into Google, this meal here costs like one cent. I am not kidding you. And let's have a try. Look at this. So they just put it on some newspapers made out of rice, some beans, some veggies and some spices. <laughs> That's really good. If any South Africans are watching, just think of Millie Pop pancake. Mm, that is so good. We're going to be teaching in a monastery, so I think I need to buy some long pants. Oh, they got little elephants yeah, on them. I was going to buy some at home, but then I thought. May as well come actually to Myanmar to buy them. Well, this is literally the local market, just yeah. It almost looks like an abandoned place, just in this building. Okay, there we are. Sorry. Oh, I see them then. Uh, well, uh oh, we're gonna go now, are we? Awesome, I'm glad we found that. That's so cheap. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, no, they I've never seen that before. Hey. These are a vegetable, but I've never seen them. Before. Is this a vegetable? Yeah. Yeah. She said it smells really nice when you cook it. When you come to Myanmar, we try to get some of the local currency, and you just can't. You can bring some like pristine US dollar notes in that have been in circulation after 2009. But otherwise, we just recommend you come in here and just go to the ATM. I think we paid like a four or five dollar fee, but it's fine because then we could get some of the local currency. So this is the monastery that we're going to be teaching at for the next week. We're actually staying at the monastery. This is pretty much the school and then yeah. our rooms are just... It's like rooms upstairs. This is what the volunteer rooms look like. Oh, so all we need is aircon. So you got a bed here, bed here, and then that's pretty much your bathroom there. And I love what they provide: drinking water and, of course, coffee. <laughs> Full coffee. They, knew. they must watch the vlogs. <laughs> felt like I could have bought the drone in here. You know, you never know until you risk it, and I, I've only read things, but when I saw the customs, it was literally just a small x-ray scanner. I felt like the Mavic, you could have easily squeezed in here. Maybe the bigger drones, like the Phantom or the Inspire, you couldn't have gotten here, but it's okay. It's better than if I lost the drone, but just for a little word of advice, I feel like you could have snuck it in at the Mandalay Airport. I just found out that our block that we're staying in is a little little stairs to the top to the rooftop and I have a beautiful view of the like area so we've got the monastery school just over there and some of the uh, some of the monks are playing uh, soccer at the moment which I've just been watching for the last five minutes so interesting to see I miss the I miss the sunset because we were busy doing some work but I am gonna come watch the sunset on the next couple of days that we are here walking down to dinner we're gonna go meet all the rest of the volunteers I think there's 15 other volunteers here but I'm so hungry I feel Same. like all we've eaten is that croissant we also yeah. forgot to pack a towel so we're using my second elephant pants as a towel at the moment whoops 
By the way, it's been like two hours and they're all still playing soccer. Alrighty guys, I think we're gonna end the video here. We have so much exciting things planned during our stay here in Mandalay. So make sure, hit subscribe if you wanna see what we're getting up to and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night!